Have you ever wanted to do a transition like this? Or even something like this? Just kidding. Let's jump into it. A little bit of bubbly. Just put you in a good mood. What's up guys? We're in Final Cut Pro. These are my clips that I have laid out here. So right where he catches the ball is where I'm going to create this freeze frame and I want to have it slide in on this frame and come into play at the perfect timing here. So what I'm going to do is click on the very beginning of this clip here and I'm going to hit shift H which is going to create this hold frame. I'm just going to trim this down a little bit. So this is all frozen and then the clip continues to play right here. So right here is where I'm going to blade the clip. Right click, lift this from the storyline, and I'm gonna pull this over this first clip here. I'm going to blade this off to the right, so trim that down. I'll get rid of this gap here. Now what I'm gonna do is go over to my effects browser, type in mask, grab my draw mask tool, and I'm just gonna start drawing a mask around the object. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here and just adjust the feather. All right, for the sake of the tutorial, I think that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna click on this hold frame, go to the beginning of it, click the transforms, set a keyframe. Then I'm going to pull the playhead back to the beginning of the hold clip, and then we're just gonna drag our mask out of the frame completely. And then I like to click on linear movement. So now we have something that looks like this. I like the speed of it, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some directional blur to this. Go to your effects browser, type in directional, drag and drop it on your freeze frame. So where he comes into frame, you can make this adjustment right on screen and you wanna kinda of come from that same motion. I think that's gonna look good right there. Now we have something that looks like this. Already a lot better and then what I did in the previous clip you first saw is this hologram effect I got from Ryan Nangle it's really awesome I love it so what you can also do here is take that hologram effect put it on this clip here go to the beginning of the playhead open it up into your inspector window and then go to mix so that controls everything within it. Select the keyframe at 100%, move a few frames ahead and reduce it down to zero. So that way when it hits, it fades out. Another download I have is Ryan Ningle's shake folder. So that comes with a lot of different types of bounces and shakes and all kinds of stuff you can use, rumbles. For this one, I like throwing the vertical shake on the ending clip where he catches the ball. And again, go to the beginning of the playhead, set a keyframe on your shake amount, go a few frames ahead, and bring that down to zero. We have something that looks like this. Pretty neat. All right, let's move on to another example here. So next up, here's the clip you saw in the intro with me and Sweet Little Princess here. When I click play, you've got these two clips or even something like this that I lined up. So I'm gonna go to the beginning of this clip, select it, hit Shift H, that creates your hold frame. I'm gonna trim that down, go to where the break in the clip happens from the freeze frame to normal speed. You can see I start moving there, stop there. So this is where I'm gonna blade the clip, lift from storyline, pull it over get rid of this gap clip so now we've got our freeze frame over top of our first clip here now head over to the effects browser pull the draw mask onto our freeze frame let's draw this out All right, so now we're gonna go to the end of the freeze frame, click your transform tool, select a keyframe, go to the beginning of your hold frame, and this one we're gonna pull straight down all the way out of the frame like we did before. Change these to linear motion, done. So now we have this. And something like Boom. this. And like we did before, you can go over to your draw mask tool, deselect this, adjust the feather like that. I could make some adjustments to the side of my face here. Again, um, you know, if you're working on your own project, you could spend a little more time making the mask better, but I just want to get this point across for you guys. Okay, maybe that'll be better. 
So this speed's pretty good, hold on. And if you want to adjust the speed quickly, you can go to show video animation and pull your keyframes in either direction. So we're gonna try it and see how that looks right there, a little bit faster. And something like this. I like that. All right, so now we're gonna go over to the effects browser, grab your directional blur, take your arrow, point it in the downward direction. Right about here will be good. Another thing I did to this intro clip is I took the earthquake effect, which comes with Final Cut Pro, throw it on that second clip here, and then go to the beginning of the playhead, keyframe the amount, and keyframe the shake amount at the beginning of the clip, go a few frames ahead, and bring that down to zero for both amounts. And then we have something that looks like this. Or even something like this. We can also add sound effects to really sell it. So with this one, I think in the intro, I did this dinosaur step. Something like this. Whoa. Grab yourself a whoosh. Or even something like this. There you go. Well, I think that'll do it. So I hope that tutorial was helpful. If you like that kind of stuff, please give the video a like, subscribe for more to come, and we'll see you guys in the next video.